Hey guys, so this is something that I'm going to start doing every Wednesday instead of doing like a podcast or something because doing too many podcasts kind of burns me out, so I'm not going to do it. Um, so what we're going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus it on me. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> this isn't part of the vlog or anything. This is just its own thing. Um, so we have our regular coaster casters travel on Friday nights, but we really don't have the time to record every th time something happens. So what we're what I'm going to do is I am going to quickly do about six topics um, about stuff that's going on since we recorded it on Sunday. So I'm going to turn autofocus on because it's apparently not working correctly. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, first up, the life-size Batmobile made out of Legos, which is 340,000 bricks and 17 feet long, uh, is open to display in Legoland, California. So if you live over in that area, uh, you, you can go for Father's Day and it'll be, I think, on display until... It does not say. Oh, July 4th. Uh, it's on this place in, until July 4th. And on Father's Day, first 4,000 park guests will receive a mini Lego Batmobile to build at home, which I think is really cool. They're, they're starting to do those freebie things, which I think are really, really cool. I just mowed the grass, so my eyes are really goopy. Um, next topic is also in Legoland. Their, uh, Legoland Florida is uh, doing a Father's Day special where if you want to like not do the normal traditional Father's Day plans you can uh, spend the day at the park uh, now through June 18th guests can receive a full adult combo ticket with the purchase of a full price child ticket that's normally $113 plus tax. That's a lot of money. Uh, the comp ticket includes same-day admission to Legoland Theme Park and Legoland Water Park. Uh, valid for visits now through September 4th. Um, which also includes July 4th, which means that you can go see... I guess they're going to do fireworks. I don't know what... Um, I don't know what Legoland does, but you can go to legoland.com slash dads with the special promo code 2086 and get that code and get that free ticket, which is which is really cool. I I enjoy when things are free. Um SeaWorld, SeaWorld news, something that's not Disney or Universal. Actually there is no Universal news in this because they're not saying anything about Horror Nights. But anyway. Uh, Kraken Unleashed, which is the VR for Kraken, the floorless coaster at um, SeaWorld Orlando, has started testing its VR. Uh, I haven't heard anything at all about it because none of my friends go to SeaWorld. So um, we will talk about that more on Sun. Well, Sun this Sunday, so it'll be next next. Yeah. Yeah, not this this upcoming episode. That's not gonna, um, that won't be part of the conversation because we didn't know that it was gonna stop to open. Um, so be sure to go check that out. Also, uh, Olaf's Frozen Adventure is going to. Okay, I understand that now. So, Olaf's Frozen Adventure is going to premiere in front of Disney Pixar's Coco starting on November 22nd, but the trailer will run before Cars 3, which opens the 16th of June, which is Friday. Um, I'm guessing it's just a little short to tie us over until, um, until Frozen 2, or whatever it's called. 
uh, it will include Olaf, of course, Elsa, Anna, and Kristoff. Um, where's Sven? Just saying. Um, same people working on it. So, it should be good. Uh, that's... I, I could care less about Frozen. I really don't. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a new song. Hopefully Olaf gets a song. I'll be very happy if he does. Um, but we have some uh, Walt Disney World vacation news. If you're going on a 2018 or planning a 2018 vacation, your vacation packages can be booked starting June 20th. Um, that's... Yeah, that's all, that's all it is. You can start um, booking your 2008 travel uh, things. I don't know what they're called. Packages, yeah, travel packages starting June 20th. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's that. It's his own thing. Go definitely see Pandora when you do that. But the big news that um, really... Uh, brought this whole thing together is that the Walt Disney Company has uh, taken full control of Disneyland Paris, which is a good thing. Um, they bought out all the stock that everyone else had, so it's their park now, which is good. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the future of um, Disneyland Paris. We might see Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout take over their tower. You never know. It's gonna happen. Anyway, that's really it's really all that's happened. What do you guys think now that this buyout has occurred? Uh, will happen to Disneyland Paris. So put what you think in the comments below. And uh, thank you all for watching. Watching. And uh, be sure to follow me on social media at Travis Coaster. And then follow the podcast that we do at Coaster Casters on social media. And I will see you guys, not live, obviously, but I will see you guys on Friday with the episode that we recorded on Sunday. So thank you and see you then.